Hi, this is Mary Morrissey. You and I are studying the 12 basic laws of the universe. More than just study, we're learning to apply them, be aware of them, and actually as part of that, find ourselves in a freer, fuller, expanded life. It's a whole lot more fun, makes things easier, everything opens up. This is a great study. Today we explore the law of compensation. Emerson wrote a very deep and powerful essay on the Law of Compensation. If you're interested, you can download it for free off the internet, The Law of Compensation, Ralph Waldo Emerson. It's very esoteric and a little hard to understand, but there's a place in there where he speaks directly about the Law of Compensation in this way. He says, God, God plays, always plays, with loaded dice. God always plays with loaded dice, meaning there is an invisible law that governs what you receive, that governs the compensation you receive. Because you are sending invisible waves into the universe by what you think, what you expect, what you put your attention on, what you give, you are invoking what you will receive. You're invoking the law of compensation. And if you and I want to have a different compensation from the universe, it's playing with loaded dice, meaning we can't pray it up, we can't beg for it, we can't, any more than you can beg for electricity to come into your house. You have to get in harmony with it. And that every thought you make is an investment. Every emotion you charge that thought with is an investment. And as Napoleon Hill said, every thought that is highly feared or greatly revered begins immediately to clothe itself in the most convenient substance available. So you want to be very careful about the investment of your thought energy and your emotional energy and put those in harmony with the desire that you have, that the pictures that matter to you, for the pictures that matter to you, for the life you want to live. Hollowell says this, the law inevitably produces its own exactness as a rule of action. It is divine law and tolerates no violation. It's not capricious. It does not bring forth figs from thistles. If you misuse the law of harmony, health or supply, the law of compensation will show you that in the results you create. If you are in harmony with your nature, how you think and what you do, the law of compensation will show you an ever increasing good. So have some fun today recognizing it doesn't matter what you've attracted. It doesn't matter what's in your life. It really doesn't matter any more than it matters if you're on CNN. If you want discovery, change the tuner and a whole new picture will emerge. Have a great day.